So Asus sent over the most expensive laptops my hands and this channel has ever seen. Imagine this, you're living in a small home or condo and you really want to maximize your room space. You're someone that wants the power for work and play, but you also need to carry it around. So you maybe think, I should build a desktop. Is it more worth it to build a desktop and then like buy my own laptop? Or you can consider this, the Asus ROG Zephyrus S15. The model that I have here is the GX502LXS, <laughs> which houses an RTX 2080 Max Q graphics card, one of the highest end mobile graphic card that is cooled within this laptop that I would consider lightweight. It is 1.9 kg. The specs itself is so balls to the walls that my own desktop in my room is actually outperformed by this monster. Of course, the price tag in of itself is a monster, but once I started to look at the price range of building, my own PC. This laptop is actually fairly priced. Moreover, the accessories inside made me reconsider how Asus is pitching this laptop. And the key thing about this machine is versatility. Not just portability where you can bring it everywhere you go. Versatility is what this machine is capable of achieving. Using price list from the infamous Simlin Square, not to be clickbaity about this, but what I found was actually quite shocking. If you were to build a similarly priced and spec desktop, the cost difference is just roughly $200. That was kind of what blew my mind that, uh, and changed my opinion that $5,000 might be overpriced. In reality, it's not. Granted, you can pick and choose your own parts according to what you need, like an overclockable processor or a high-end motherboard. But the majority of the cost for each product falls within an acceptable range. On top of that, when you build a desktop, you have to invest in the monitor, a keyboard, a mouse, headphones, maybe even desktop speakers and a webcam. The Zephyrus, everything is provided right out of the box. Asus included a really stylish looking headphone with amazingly done RGB and external 1080p 60 frames per second webcam. This is the 1080p 60f uh, webcam. It's actually a 60 frames per second uh, 1080p webcam. I think it's pretty okay. Uh, the lightings are fine, the details are okay. Uh, I have to sit back a little bit further just to see the wide angle view but otherwise it's okay, you can see me quite well and I think you can judge the microphone quality for yourself I think it's decent enough for a uh, zoom call or meetings like that so yeah I spent slightly over two weeks with this laptop where I practically gamed and did my work on only this laptop which means that I shot and edited all the footage of this review in this laptop in my free time, I play a lot of Overwatch and GTA and I've got some indie games lying around to try it out on. And it's so amazing to run every single game in so much detail. So the specs, I think that this laptop is amazing. You can stream M game on it without a hitch. Any modern games will look so good on this 1080p 300Hz G-Sync display. And my eyes are literally spoiled by the details that I just feel sad about my own desktop and the fact that I'm going to return this really very soon. <laughs> While the plentiful 32 gigs of RAM is not upgradable, the internal storage is. On top of that, the laptop lets you easily clean out the fans. Just remove these screws to assess the fans and you can brush the dust off like once in a while. And during my gaming and recording sessions, the fans will ramp up and it's definitely audible. It actually doesn't sound that bad, but when you start to do something intensive, I would suggest wearing the headphones. If you map out oh, the noise, just play some background music or just play the in-game music, you know. This is quite definitely a no compromises laptop. Even the ultra-thin bezels make content consumption feel immersive. When it comes to gaming, I always feel that um, the smaller parts make everything even better by itself. So like the keyboard, the screen, the case, the design, the thinness, all of it contributes to a great package. Especially the keyboard for me, because it plays a big part of how I perform. While yes, it does look very gamery focused, I think that some of the design choices here do make sense. For example, look at this space bar. This protrusion actually provides more surface area for my thumb to press down on, which makes a lot of difference because by extending the bottom part just a little bit more, the stability of the key press feels much better. However, I do not like how mushy and kind of tough these keys feel. Don't get me wrong, the RGB keyboard is actually very well lit and the function keys are what I felt was in the correct configuration. By default, the function keys are F1 to F12 and holding the function key... It's 
So my neighbor's dog, if you hear it. By default, the function keys are F1 to F12 and holding the function key allows you to trigger the additional commands. However, I didn't really like that there's a gap at the top of the one key and I tend to use my fourth or middle finger to click on the F1 key. But otherwise, I felt that the inclusion of the additional and useful buttons for volume control, mic mute, and a configuration tool are a nice touch. I suspect that the engineers at ASUS designed this to last longer. Sure, they could try and improve, or maybe they could include a low-profile mechanical keyboard, but even the thinnest mechanical keyboard may not fit into this frame. At the start of this video, I mentioned that this is an incredibly versatile machine. You can just plop this anywhere on your table, connect the power adapter, a mouse, headphones, and you get started. But you can also turn this into a semi-desktop replacement by adding an additional monitor with a keyboard and a mouse. And if you need to move forward, just unplug everything, bring along the additional 60-watt USB-C adapter that ASUS included when you buy this gaming beast, and it becomes a portable work machine. And when it comes to work, this machine is no slouch. My work involves furiously typing out this script, testing the performance of this laptop, and through some benchmarks and gamings, consider my own behaviors and how I interact with this device, ultimately giving you guys an idea on whether uh, you should get this laptop to begin with. So what I can guarantee you is that any modern games that you run on this is gonna look amazing on it. Even when I'm editing this video on this laptop, it feels amazing to just speed through my timeline and scrub it with all the horsepower contained within this compact frame. So a powerful and versatile laptop, a fair price tag, accessories that enhance your experience and you can game right out of the box. Wi-Fi 6, 300Hz display. Would you buy something like this? Leave a comment. Like, I wanna know, man. I, I do read and respond to, the, to whatever you guys think. And if you like this review, toss a sub and like. If you wanna see the unboxing, have the video around here. And if you want to donate to my journalism, uh, you can donate to my Kofi link. I've linked it down below and there are other videos that you can watch as well. Do go ahead and click them for now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.